get into your experience working with Bill Cosby and the Cosby cast. What was that like? Oh, I, you know what? I had a really wonderful experience. Um, when I worked on the show, that was my very first professional audition. And um, I, I booked the show my very first time auditioning for anything. I didn't even have an agent. I didn't, I didn't know what I was doing. I just had a very kind man, Barry Moss, who was willing to take a little time with me as a 15-year-old and tell me how it worked and teach me what to do on the spot and worked with me and kind of directed me and finessed it a little bit. And then next thing you you know, I'm meeting Mr. Cosby along with um, eight other young ladies and I'm chosen to be on the show the second season. I was honored. Um, it was the number one show in America. It was season two. Um, Felicia Rashad was pregnant. Lisa Bonet was there with little Zoe Kravitz. Um, Lenny was there, who was Romeo Blue back then. Um, it was it was a mo moment, you know. It was a, it was a time caps capsule moment, and I'm very grateful for the start that he gave, not just me, but so many. Um, you know, understanding that um, what he's been convicted of is heinous. And my heart goes out to anyone who has gone through such an experience. Um, but I wasn't, I wasn't affected by it. I, I didn't experience that at all. What I got was a version of what I was expecting at the time from what I was watching on TV. I got Cliff Huxtable. Mm -hmm. And I'm very grateful that this and her excellence and her regalness and her all of everything is and magical as she is. That was just. I, I recently had the opportunity to tell her I saw her on stage in a play and I had the opportunity to go backstage and to thank her and tell her how much that impression had mattered and had been a barometer for, my, for me all these years later. That show was so, it's, uh, I mean, it, it meant a lot to a lot of us growing up because that's the first, a lot of us, we didn't have a lot of um, representation of like a beautiful black family, a healthy, functional Mm -hmm. Black family, not dysfunction. How did you feel when the allegations came out? Were you shocked? Were you heart, did your heart drop? Did you? Um, yeah, you know, I, I, I was, I was heartbroken, and I, and I am heartbroken. Um, you know, and it's not so much a longing to restore the good feelings around him him but just the good feelings more about the show and what the show did for us as you said in terms of representation and and how so many people were able to start there not just again actors but like Yvette Lee Bowser who's the, the showrunner for Dear White People who created Living Single she started as a writing assistant in the room for um for uh you know Oh my gosh, different world. No, different world. Um, that's where she got her start. So there were so many people. And, and by the time she created Living Single, she was the youngest female showrunner ever in the history of network television, not just, just period. You know, so that was, that was a gateway and that was a door that he opened for so many of us. And so it is, what I long for is just, you know, to have the stigma erased from the people who were connected to the show mm -hmm. just because of his name. 